On December the 6th, eight hopeful businesses and NGOs gathered in a boardroom at Rome's Angelicum University to present their ideas to investors. They weren't your typical startup ideas, nor were the investors the businessmen you would usually find on the hit TV show Shark Tank. This was a Catholic Shark Tank, and the founders of the startups were an eclectic group comprised of a priest from Nigeria, an American doctoral student, two individuals recently released from prison, and businesswomen from Burundi and Rwanda, to name a few. One of the investors present at the event was Jean-Pierre Casey, a member of the recently appointed Vatican Investment Committee. But how does business and investment go together with Catholic social teaching? Pope Francis specifically talked about this in August, with his prayer intentions going to small businesses, fulfilling their social responsibility of generating opportunities and work. With value, with effort, with sacrifice, you invest in life, generating well-being, opportunities and work. We pray so that the small and medium-sized businesses duramente afectados por la crisis económica y social, encuentren los medios necesarios para continuar su actividad al servicio de las comunidades en las que viven. The Catholic Shark Tank was put on by the Acton Institute, a think tank focused on promoting free market principles and Christian virtues. The idea was the brainchild of Michael Severance, the director of the Acton Institute's Rome office. We wanted to bring together in an encounter, as Pope Francis has always uh, asked us to do in his charism, in a meeting. And here we're having entrepreneurs who, in their small and medium enterprises, meet with large enterprises in terms of finance. And seeking not only advice, but actually a real-time investment into their, into their affairs. Father Andrew Lesko was one of the investors present at the event and is the head of the Catholic Incubator. We asked him about the importance of having Catholics involved in business. Morality and ethics are a huge part of business. They're a very necessary part of business and it's a part of business that unfortunately is lacking in today's secular age. And so today we're encouraging people to live out their vocation and to live out morality and ethics in all of their business endeavors. Eamon Clark is one of the contestants hoping to secure funding for his startup idea. My company is essentially taking high quality theological notes, philosophical notes, uh, and turning them into graphics. But we're also selling some merchandise that will kind of energize our brand, uh, get our name out there. And we're also looking at other al alternative means of education, such as apps for learning theology, which I don't think anyone has really done seriously. Mm -hmm. But isn't business evil and profit bad? What does the church actually teach on entrepreneurship? Funnily enough, it teaches something quite different from the common perception. So, what's in Nigeria? Father Henry Dabang, one of the participants of the Catholic Shark Tank, helps us understand the church's role in promoting ethical entrepreneurship and integral human development. Entrepreneurship looks at that aspect of being productive in the society using your own God-given talent in order to be productive, not just, not just to be dependent. So I feel the church is, has brought these two aspects together so that that would also, that would also promote, promote what the church is doing and it would also help us to understand that, yes, as a human person, you can do more than just being a reliant. It seems that there's a big hunger and need for more participation from the church in the sphere of business and entrepreneurship, and many are searching for mentors and formators. The Catholic Shark Tank at the Angelicum might be a step in the right direction.